What do whales talk about? The alphabet of sperm whales. Recent analysis of the clicking sounds made by sperm whales suggests that they represent a type of alphabet that forms the basis of a complex communication system. Interestingly, the sperm whale alphabet is surprisingly similar in structure and complexity to the human language. Machine learning allows for a slightly better understanding of the sounds made by sperm whales, Faceta macrocephalus. These whales have the largest brains of any living animal on Earth. They also make the loudest clicking sounds. Researchers believe that these sounds are used by whales for echolocation during dives to great depths but also for communication. In a recent study published in the journal Nature Communication, scientists from MIT and the Cetacean Translation Initiative CETI, project used algorithms to decode the sperm whale phonetic alphabet, revealing sophisticated structures similar to human phonetics. Researchers have found that sperm whale calls, short bursts of clicks that resemble a telegraph operator tapping out Morse code, vary significantly in structure depending on context, showing that their communication system is much more complex than previously thought. Researchers analyzed the behavior of sperm whales from the same family in the Caribbean Sea. They recorded the sounds they made and over the years they collected nearly 9,000 separate phrases, or codes, as researchers call them. When you listen to whale clicks, you might get the impression that they are making the same sound over and over again. But new technology has revealed the complexity of these conversations. Various features of the distinctive clicks, including subtle changes in tempo and rhythm, suggest that sperm whales can transmit a much richer amount of information than previously thought. Scientists hope that one day they will be able to understand these interactions well enough to decipher them accurately and even participate in them. The team used a number of machine learning algorithms to analyze a large database of recorded sperm whale sounds. The researchers also analyzed data collected by devices mounted on the animal's bodies. Thanks to this, it was possible to recognize and classify patterns of characteristic clicks. They found that sperm whale communication was not random or simplified, but rather organized in a complex way. Scientists have identified something like a sperm whale phonetic alphabet, in which different elements work together to create a wide range of recognizable codes. The whales systematically modulated certain aspects of their codes based on the conversation context, for example smoothly changing the duration of conversations or adding extra clicks. The researchers also noted that the basic building blocks of these codes can be combined, allowing whales to construct a wide repertoire of distinct vocalizations. The researchers found that individuals can produce different patterns of codes during long exchanges, rather than just repetitions of the same code. They also claim that these patterns are nuanced and contain tiny differences that other whales also produce and recognize. We 
adventuring into the unknown to decipher the secrets of sperm whale communication without any prior data, says Daniela Roos of MIT. Using machine learning is important for identifying characteristics of their communications and predicting what they will say next. Our findings indicate the presence of structured information content and challenge the belief among many linguists that complex communication is unique to humans, he adds. The researchers classified the whales' clicks into those that lasted long and short, with or without similar time gaps between clicks. Thanks to this, they discovered new, characteristic features. For example, they noticed that in 4% cases, one of the code patterns was accompanied by an additional click. They concluded that it was a modified version of the short code and not a different, longer phrase. Scientists called this extra click, decoration. This click did not occur randomly. It usually happened at certain times when whale-to-whale -whale encounters occurred. For example, at the beginning and end of a series of calls, or when a whale swimming in a group started clicking with the lead whale. The team's analysis also revealed a subtle change in pace in the sperm whale's conversations. Again, the phenomenon has been linked to interactions between whales. When one individual changed the click rate, the other whale reflected that change, even if it emitted different codes. Scientists have isolated about 300 communication units between whales in the Caribbean Sea. We don't know what they're talking about. But the fact that they use different click combinations is already very interesting, says Pratyusha Sharma of MIT, lead author of the study. The seemingly meaningless sounds in each code, combined in various ways to create multiple options, follow a pattern similar to human speech. One of the intriguing aspects of our research is that it overlaps with the hypothetical scenario of contact with aliens. It's about understanding a species living in a completely different environment, whose interactions clearly deviate from human norms, says Sharma. We study how to interpret basic units of meaning in their communication. This is not about teaching animals a human language, but about decoding a naturally evolved communication system within the unique biological and environmental constraints. Essentially, our work could lay the groundwork for deciphering how an alien civilization might communicate providing insight into creating algorithms or systems to understand completely unknown forms of communication. Many animal species have a repertoire of just a few distinct signals. But scientists are just beginning to discover how animals combine these signals to create new messages. It is not known whether signal combinations vary with social or ecological context or whether they follow any rules recognized by listeners. The problem is particularly difficult for marine mammals because scientists are usually unable to see the objects they are dealing with, limiting the determination of the context of communication.